Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Greedfall Blind. I'm your host, Lasan Fay. So, um, today, do I fight? No, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, when I don't feel like dealing with killing things anymore. All right, you two, let's go. <sighs> Especially because we now have also the further evidence. Uh... Well, everything. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have been to Asili's laboratory, and what I discovered was abominable. Hundreds of poor souls tortured. Victims of horrifying experiments. There were so many dead that a pit had been dug to burn the bodies. How horrifying. I cannot believe it. The natives were not the only victims of these crimes. There were also a number of noughts. Noughts? Pardon me for doughting you, but do you have proof of what you say? And have you brought Dr. Asili to me so he may answer these accusations? Well, yes. yes. We captured him. Really? Very well. I will ensure that he is judged as quickly as possible. What was done with the prisoners that were being held in the laboratory? They were freed. The Donea eggs Regal are satisfied and should call off their attack. What a relief. Finally, some good news. How can I repay you? By allowing me to take part in the trial proceedings. What I saw merits justice, and I fear that the accused will find a great many defenders amongst his fellow servants. It is a rather novel request, but granted. I shall inform the prosecutor. Let us remember that the madness of a man should not cast a shadow upon the greater sum of his work. His research is perhaps our only chance of discovering a remedy. Would you like to speak with me about any other subject? No. No. Okay. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady. Ugh. And he can rock for a bit. I'm, I'm... I'm done with air. For a while, anyways. Um. <sighs> All right, where am I going? That is the question. So, um, there's that. That can happen later. Um, I do need to do that at some point, and I have that. So, um, both of these do require me to be in San Mateus, so I may head there next. Ugh. I do not want to be the person who tells Constantine it's worse news. <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Maybe I do that? Um... Vectoration. Mm. Let's go this way. <sighs> Maybe later. Um, now travel first. Uh, let's compose the team. Uh, Vasco and Petrus. You want to talk? You want to talk? Is it just you two? Okay, good. find Fernando. Do you remember him? He should be able to inform us. Yes, I remember Fernando. Let's go and see him. Alright, good. Alright, um, journal. Uh, that one? It's always hard to say which of these ways is faster. Come closer. Well, I did, but I didn't need anything from you. And turn. Good day, Desade. How can I help you? Um... We are looking for a young nought named Alba, on behalf of the Admiral. I've heard about her. Several crew members told me that one of our own was looking to leave the island. You should ask them if you want to learn more. They should be near the boarding area. But me? I've not seen her. More questions? Um, uh, no, Thanks. guess not. I've got everything I need. that's, like, really not there. Please stop telling me that I need to do that. Well, hello. You have the talking sign above your head. Your Excellency. Captain Vasco. What fair wind brings you here? We're looking for a young Nort who arrived from New Serene a short time ago. Her name is Alba. Yes, I remember her well. The poor child wanted to flee her father, who wanted to take her back to the convent. She asked me when our ship was leaving, and if I thought we could take her on board. I told her she'd better talk to the captain, but we weren't leaving right away in any case. So she left. Um... You say she was fleeing her father? Yes, that's what she said. He followed her here to take her back to Teleme. Poor child. Did she tell you what his name was? Yes. She told me that if a certain gentleman... Lorenz? That's it, Lorenz. If he was asking after her, I should send him packing. Surely it was a fake excuse. We're looking for her for espionage and treason. Really? Yet she seems sincere. Treason? I can't believe it. Um. If her father is actually here, do you have any idea where we might find him? Well, at one point I asked her why she was not waiting at the tavern for a ship to leave. She told me she could not go to the tavern. 
So maybe that's where you'll find him. All right, good to know. I must leave you. All right, well, we've got our heading there. Um. Um, and that's gonna be at night. Please tell me you don't need me at night. Are you ready to put our plan against the Mother Cardinal in motion? Sure. It's a complicated plan, but an effective one. Let's put it in motion. Let's go back to the Saint Matthias bookmaker. Your skills seem to interest him. Okay. All right, fine. This is our plan. This is our fight team, our squad. Okay. And this will help pass time, hopefully until the evening. Day. Welcome. You here to wager? To fight? On what would we be betting? On the fights in the arena. You never heard of them. Quite a few come here and bet fortunes. And do they win? A few do. Others have less luck. But they do get the thrill either way, you see. And that's all that counts. Um... What is this arena? It's a place of great pomp and entertainment, where all manner of fights take place. Men, women, savage beasts, island monsters. People are coming from everywhere on the island to participate, or to bet. I want to challenge the champion of the arena. A champion? Really? Now, you were asking about Candy Cane. It wouldn't be him that sent you here by any chance. No. No one has sent me. I'm looking to make a reputation for myself. Ah. That sounds better. It's true, you have talent, and the public does like you. Let me think. There is Briscard, one of our old champions. It's been a while since he fought, but he did ask me to set something up for him. He's not a youngster anymore, but his name is known. And he's a killer. I'm warning you. This briskard sounds like the perfect opponent. A deal! I'll work on getting things ready for the combat and line up the betting. Until then, make sure you're ready. It'll be a duel. Your friends will need to stay in their seats. As soon as you're Lovely. ready, you'll just need to go and see the arena master. We should go and see Candy Cane so he can set up our deal. So when you win, she will lose her bet. Ugh. Do I have to see him at night too? Ooh. Okay, I can't... Wait, yes I can. Because I go up and all the way around. And... Right. Okay. <sighs> Perfect. 
frustrating. Candy Cane is not here. At least not yet. Oh. Remember, my child. The bookmaker told us that he hangs around here at night. That's true. You were right. Let's come back later. So I have to wait for nightfall, regardless of which of these tasks I'm doing. Yay! Time. Because, yeah, I was going to be waiting a while. All right. Oh, hi. You're dead. Dear child, what can I do for you? Nothing, nothing. Oh, God. I will see you later, I was Father. trying to loot. Take care, my child. I just, I want to loot the bodies. I like how the criminals are wearing priest boots. Bit of poison on my Here comes our pay, boys! Well, okay. <sighs> all right, you, sir, you again. What do you want this time? So defensive. Petrus, you had a proposal to make, I believe. That's right. I've thought of a little scheme that could make us all very rich. You know me, so you also know I'm quite clever, and that my ideas are always fruitful. They do say that you are devious. Perhaps too much so for your own good. Go on. My friend here loves the glory and sand of the arena. I've gained quite a reputation, but soon I'll be taking on a true champion. I am no fool, though. I know I won't hold up for long. Yeah, I've seen the odds. Everyone expects you to lose within a minute. So what? Let us suppose that our champion is a little less aggressive than usual. If the fight can last at least five minutes, an informed better would win the jackpot. And I'd keep a little of my pride. Very well. I'll arrange it. But no dirty tricks. Don't take advantage of the deal and try to beat the champion. If you do, he'll wipe the floor with you. You want to get your money. Don't get too greedy. Okay. <sighs> and now I've got to wait a day for that. Okay, um, so in the meantime, we will swap back to, please stop glowing. Actually, I suppose the one that's glowing on that was that. Okay, hide completed quest. Ugh. Where's the glowing one? There we go. Wow. I 
Hello. Hello. Are you Master Lorenz? Indeed, my lady. What do you want from me? My name is de Sardé. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. And I have a few questions for you. We are looking for a young nought called Alba. We were told that you are her father. Alba, what a stupid name. Her real name is Clara. And yes, she is my daughter, although she chose to deny me. Have you seen her recently? Alas, no. Otherwise, I would have brought that little idiot back to Teleme. Why did she have to leave? What madness could make her leave the convent to go to sea? Your daughter is accused of espionage and treason by the Noughts. Do you think she could be guilty? Espionage? I can't believe it. But treason? How can it be denied? She rejected her country, her faith, and her family by getting on that ship. But I will soon bring her back on the right path. I hired a sleuth from the Ordo Luminous. Oh, shit. Tell me more about this sleuth. Some Inquisitors are specialists in hunting criminals, or heretics, or young scatterbrains. That's certainly the case with this Johannes. He will bring her back to me, and she will return to the convent in Teleme. Do you know where we could find him? Maybe he could help us. His last message was about a missionary camp where he had followed her near... Wench... something or other. I'm sorry, I can't remember those island names. Thank you, sir. If you find her, bring her back to me. She will no longer have the chance to betray anyone at the convent. I hope we're done. Uh, yeah. I'll leave you, sir. A missionary camp near an island village whose name begins with Wench. He must be talking about Wench Xavier. Shall we go there? In a bit. Uh, we've got to settle your stuff here first. Ugh. Um, that one? Um, come on. That's nice. Oh, I'm going to be doing a lot of dodging. All right. Actually, Bosco, don't take this badly, but Kurt's the better fit at the moment. I need my ringside coach. Leisurely stroll. Uh, I could use a drink. Downstairs. Where we have people with very feathery hats. Lots of plumage. Alright. Okay. Don't actually beat him, but survive. Got it. survive a while. Oh. 
Ready to excite the crowd? Ah, there you are. I was told you'd be taking on one of our old champions. Are you ready for the fight? Beware. Contrary to the challenges, this combat must be fought alone. Your friends must remain in the stands. Okay. Yes, I am ready. So, jump into the arena. And may the better fighter win. he can like take me out in one hit which is why I'm not letting him hit me spectacle. Congratulations on your victory. I may have forgotten this all <sighs> Thank you. It wasn't easy. And here are your winnings from the combat. <laughs> You've earned them. Bravo! A glorious victory, which is made all the sweeter by double compensation. <sighs> I don't believe I've ever seen you happier. The thought of holding something over Cornelia seems to do you wonders. I see I am supposed to win. That is true. Politics is an extremely subtle game, and just as satisfying as fighting in an arena. I imagine we need to go and see her now. Yes, and I hope you will enjoy the moment every bit as much as I will. <sighs> see, Kurt, I did you proud. Like, he didn't even touch me. Engage in some calmness after this. Okay. Oh, it's probably faster going the other way. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, game, please don't do that to me. <sighs> at least get to Mother Cornelia or near her. Jeez, I can't believe that's still there. Also, I hope that father realizes that the... or Alba's father realizes that the Order of Luminous guy he hired um, will most likely 
rape his daughter before returning her to the convent. <sighs> you know what? We're gonna deal with this next time. I want to thank you all so much for tuning in. And in the meantime, in between time, take care, have fun, and happy trails. <laughs>